everybody thank you for taking time to tune into my channel as you can read by the title below this is a celebrity inspired look by the gorgeous Tia Mari Hardrick and I follow her on Instagram and I saw this picture on her Instagram and so I was like oh I might be able to recreate that do my bootleg version of her beautifulness so this is a look inspired by that so if you want to see how I achieved it keep watching first thing I'm going to apply is some chapstick because I just brushed my teeth and my lips are dry honey this is the Vaseline lip therapy rosy lips and this stuff is pretty potent primer I need primer where's my primer I am using the Revlon photo ready perfecting primer Here's a shot of it, and I know that the lid has been detached. It basically is so low to the point where it doesn't pump out anymore, but I'm trying to get my money's worth, so I refuse to buy anymore until I've used it up. Hashtag the struggle is real. What's going on with my hair? I have two cameras happening right now. I'm testing one out, and then I'm using the camera that I typically use, so that's why I'm kind of looking. But I try to have them lined up so they're in the same spot. Okay, now, staying on the Revlon train, I'm taking the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. I am in the shade Caramel. And this stuff is interesting. I never really worn it out, out, but, <laughs> out, out, but it's happening today. So we'll see. We are going to set that. I'm using CoverGirl Queen. We all know my obsession with this is real. Um, shade Light Golden. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. This is a Real Techniques brush. It's a powder brush by Real Techniques. So now we are moving on to eyes. I am taking the Paris palette from Sigma Beauty. This came out a while ago. I don't think it's available anymore, but I do think that they sell the um, eyeshadows individually. And there is no rule whatsoever that says you have to use the shadows, just whatever you have to help get you this look. So. Don't feel like just because I'm using it, you have to go and get these exact products. Oh, and I am applying Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Can you see it? Can you see it? I think you can. Okay, and the inside of the palette looks like this. If I can open it. So it has a range of different colors with um, two different blushes and what do you call that? A highlight. And if I'm not mistaken, Sigma like teamed up with a bunch of different YouTube people to um, and like they all made their own colors a while back. Okay, first thing I'm doing, I'm taking Rogue, which is a blush. That's Rogue. It's a blush, but I like to use it as I wasn't doing anything special I was scratching my face as a um, what do you call it like a transition color and right now I am using a fluffy brush this is by Sigma but honey I've been messing with Sigma since they first came out and when they first came out they um, didn't have the same number of brushes that they do now like right now they have like E this F that and when they first came out, it was SS whatever. So this is how old these brushes are. But I think this is like in their version now. What I have is an SS224. But I think now they're called E25s. But it's basically a blending brush. So I'm using that as my transition shade. And then the look Tia has, the way I interpreted it, um, she has, to me, what looked like, um, I'm trying to pull up the picture, <laughs> um, because now I'm just kind of going off me staring at it like a stalker. 
to me it kind of looked like Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Made up my eye. Yep, that just happened. <laughs> this shade here. That's what it looked like to me. So, and this is a Sigma, again, old school SS239. I think now they're called, I don't even know, so I'm not going to lie to you, but it looks like that. The brush does. VSC. That's how old these things are. But they've lasted, so hey, I'm not mad. So just applying that to the lid, like so. I feel like I need to get closer, but hopefully not so close that it's scary. So two mirrors, two cameras, it is a big deal. So we'll take that and keep patting on the lid. And I don't really see a lot, again, trying to look at the picture. Well, yeah, I don't really see too much of what I'm on. Lord, my cat is psychotic. Um, I don't really see much of what I'm about to do on this look, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is my little twist, if you want to call it that. Did this thing just stop recording? It did. Okay, see, this is this is why we did two cameras. This is the color, <laughs> it's French, and she does not speak French. She took Spanish in high school. This one. I believe, uh, what's that chick's name? Dulce Candy uh, from YouTube made that one. I want to try and say it, but I know it's going to be not right at all. Elisace? Uh, I don't know. But I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put it on my outer corner like so and this is a Makeup Geek Outer V brush so not a lot because again from what I saw Tia didn't have a lot of that happening but It does look like she has a little bit of a highlight going on. So what I'm going to do is take another color that I can't pronounce because again, it's French, but this one here. Yo hablo un poquito espanol. I do not speak, ooh, all right. I do not speak French. I don't know what I think about this lighting. I'm gonna try something different, stand by. I like this lighting better. It's natural lighting as opposed to um, overhead lighting I had happening. I'm going to take uh, Rogue, the color that I used earlier for a transition shade, and use it what it was actually meant for, which is blush. And I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush. That looks really intense. <laughs> Let's see. It doesn't look that bad on in person, or it doesn't look bad at all on person, but I feel like in camera it's like, woo girl. Woo cha. Then we're gonna take Lumineer. I feel like that is one color in the shade that I say correctly. I mean, in this palette, where is it? Here. This is the highlight. And we're gonna use it for what it was designed to do, be a highlight. This is a Sonia Kashuk 124 br brush. It's just like a dual fiber. And one thing I'm going to do just to... I am going to take... I'm not putting anything extra on it, but I am going to take that powder brush I used and tone this blush down a bit. Because, again, I feel like it looks fine on camera or fine in person, like I'm looking in my mirrors here, but I'm, 
I feel like on the camera it's like she has a very beautiful um like a very vampy kind of lip so that's what I am going to try and create I am using Vino lip liner by MAC that is not focusing the way I want it to well trust me it's Vino lip liner so we're going to take that and line the lips oh and this is the color this is what it looks like pretty not pretty pretty and then we're going to take sin by mac yeah okay so i'm totally over here having like the slowest moments that ever were made i forgot to put on eyeliner i was like something's something's missing that would be eyeliner, my dear. So right now I'm taking Maybelline's Line Stiletto. It looks like this. And last but not least, uh, mascara. I'm taking Maybelline Turbo Volume. Looks like that. I really want to try their um, Pumped Up. Is that what it's called? It's in the pink tube. I just haven't gotten it yet because I have so many mascaras that I have yet to get to. And I feel like I shouldn't keep adding to my stash if I can't even use what I have so so now we're done because at first I was like mm, something's missing uh could it be your eye makeup because they look like they're ridiculously small so this is my interpretation of that look I'm dropping things Sorry for being all over the place. I typically have a routine, face, eyes, cheeks, lips, but I'm still getting used to this whole filming myself, putting on makeup thing, so a little scatterbrain, but we got through it. We got through it, and I feel like this is a good, um, and a good way to, I feel like this is a good recreation but that's just my opinion I could be a little biased but again I saw that picture of her on Instagram and I thought she looked gorgeous so I wanted to do what I could to recreate it so hopefully I didn't make it too painful for you guys and um, here's a little close-up all right so I will go ahead and wrap this video up I hope it's not too long I'm trying to keep it short and sweet because no one cares and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And until next video, I will talk to you soon. Bye.